Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are playing some more of our Xiangjiang campaign. And uh, yeah, I'm having a look at the Great Wall of China right now. It's cool, isn't it? Pretty damn cool. Anyway, so yes, let's uh, let's do the thing. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, we just took Ending, and we're going to want to take uh, Wudu here. We're going to take all of this province uh, before Kong Rong takes over everything. He's being really annoying, and uh, of course we can't attack Liu Bu because uh, he's allied with Kong Rong, and we can't really compete with this just yet. I mean, we do have a second stack now. I mean, it's not a full stack, but it's pretty good. You know, we've got some hidden axes in here, some good crossbowmen, some good cav, and uh, some militia. But this is a lot of range stuff. I mean, sure, these guys are great in melee too, but it's a bit tough. Um, I think this will be a difficult one to fight on its own, which will be definitely good for backing up... Um, Come on, you can let me click on you. There we go. Going to be great for backing up this army, though. I think it's going to be really nice. So, yeah, we've got some stuff to do. Um, over here, uh, Gong Sun Zan is doing very well for himself, I believe. That's where we left off, wasn't it? He was, yeah, just taking out a load of uh, Yuran Chao's armies and settlements. So, might have to do something about this guy soon. Um, I really don't want to have a big prolonged war with him, though. It's going to be rough. But... I guess if we can just take over these territories, um, I could start heading back. I mean, there's this guy here. Uh, oh, he doesn't really like me either. Hmm. And he doesn't like me much either, does he? No, no, he really hates me. Okay, so there's a few people that hate me kicking around. But uh, hopefully we can just take over this stuff and maybe start heading back. Maybe build another army over here, because we are making some good money. Um, mostly from taxation now, though. But we are getting quite a bit from trade and tributaries, which is good. So, yeah, there's potential. There's potential here. Right, uh, one thing I want to try and do, though, is uh, marry off uh, Zhang Zhang to someone. Because, ideally, I want to get a good character out of somebody. So, let's see if uh, Welcome, Liu Bei can do it. Nope. Nope. No characters. Damn. Alright, how about... I mean, this guy was up for, for marrying off uh, his heir, wasn't he? And he's level 4 now, which isn't too bad. Huh. Yeah, tempted. Tempted. Hmm. Definitely tempted. It would, uh, would win him over, but if I don't want to end up fighting him someday, I'm not so sure. So, uh, Yuan Chao, how about you? Trade marriage, could receive a marriage. Oh, he's got a couple of people. Um, quite high level too. Hmm. Again, not bad, not bad. Apparently this guy has mad authority. So I think when it's gold, it means over 100. Um, so that's not actually too bad. Would they like each other? Yeah, they do. They do like each other. So it could get uh, Yuan Chi here. Go get your own she. Hmm. It's very tempting. So I'll think about that. Uh, Tao Tao, you got anybody? Receive marriage. Tao Ang, Tao Ran. So yeah, again. Not bad. He's got over 100 resolve. Which is pretty good. Hmm. Let's see. Do you like any of them? Nope. How about him? Nope. Alright. She doesn't like him. I'm not going to force her into a crappy marriage. Uh, Alright. How about well Swenta? Receive marriage. Who have you got? Uh, oh! Swin Tran. That'd be great. That'd be great if they get on. They don't. Oh, do I do it anyway? Do I do it anyway so I get uh, Swin Tran on my side? It would be pretty good. Because, I mean, he's he's great. He's going to be the one that takes over, um, you know, takes over running the place. And he has very good authority. So having good authority is nice. Because uh, I think... If I made him the faction heir, that'd be good. I mean, they don't like each other, though, which is a problem. But it would be good to get him. It would be good to get Centran. Uh, Kong Rong, how about you? You got anybody? Uh, wait. Trade marriage. Nope. Nope. No one available there. Liu Bu? I already checked him, didn't I? And no. Nothing. Uh, the Han Empire. Nope. Uh, Liu Biao? How about you? Who have you got? Uh, Liu Kong and uh, Liu Qi. Hmm. That's high level, this guy. He's a faction there. Don't like him. Don't like him. Don't like him. Uh, Yuan Chu. Not a fan of Yuan Chu, but... Let's see. Uh, hang on. Really? No, uh... Oh, trade marriage. I went to the wrong one. Okay, faction there. Again, don't like him. Um, hmm. I'm not sure anyone else is going to have anyone of, of note. So, I think... I think... We'll uh, ask uh, Swenta 
The honor is mine. If we can marry his brother. Don't like him, but I kind of want him on my faction. Because he's going to be very good. He is going to be a good character. And he's only 22, which is pretty great. So, yeah. You fancy marrying an older woman? No, apparently not. Whatever. Let's find out if I can get this. Um, so they don't like the idea. So if I say make this work, what do they want? They want some ancillaries. And they want a ton of money. Ooh, they want that for 10 turns. Ooh, that's that's expensive. Let's put that down a bit. Can't put this up because I don't have any more. Crap. All right, how about... Oh, what ancillary is that? Dignified arraignment. Uh, yeah, I think I executed someone to get that, but that's fine. That's fine. God, do I want to give them that much per turn just to get that marriage in? Um, maybe. Maybe, to be honest. Maybe. Because getting Sven Tran would be great. Getting him on side. Um, hmm. Dunno. Should I try it? Should I do it? Thing is, if he hates the marriage, he might just end up rebelling and sodding off anyway. Which is a bit of a problem. So, it could be difficult. But I am tempted. But that is a lot of money. But we are earning quite a lot of money. It'll only be for 10 turns. So it will add up to 11,000 um, in total. Which is quite a lot of money to give him when he's this powerful. But if it makes him happy. I mean, he's already quite happy. But we could make him super happy with us. And I won't have to worry about him. He might be able to help me deal with a load of the other factions. Sort of in the middle of the map. Which I think would be good. I think that could be real nice. Um, you know, it's about time we got a marriage. I need to get more characters in. And decent ones. And Sven Tran's going to be great. So I think I think we need to do that. So I'm going to do it. It's going to be expensive, but sod it. Your terms are fair. Let's get that marriage going. Awesome. So, marriage. One must strengthen the bond between factions for the greater good of the land. Just as marriage will join these two in harmony. So it will draw our two factions closer. Cool. Alright, so... Uh, oh, can't recruit from there. Never mind. It's because you're in March stance, isn't it? It is. So, can you get over there now? No, you can't. You've just moved. Alright, so we got a marriage. We're broke, but that's fine. I'm totally cool with that. Because, yeah, we're just going to be conquering. We don't need to do a lot of building just yet. Military access, and that'll give me a ton of money. Yeah, sure. Sure. So, finally, he wants something, and someone is willing to pay for the thing that they want. So, that's great. It will upset... Uh, Huang Zhu, who's here, I believe. Um, also, Tao Tao, that's fine. Yuan Chu, don't care. They keep Liu Bei and uh, Tao Ying. Yeah. It'll make him happy with me, and that's good. I want to I wanna keep on his good side. I want to keep on his good side. And, oh, good. Oh, not so good. But good. Yeah, I kind of hope these guys can beat back uh, Kong Rong a bit that way. Because if Kong Rong gets wiped out by these guys, if they just go down here and deal with them, hopefully I'll have the momentum to just, uh, you know, finish off the scraps and just take over all this territory. Which would be great. That would be real good. I don't know where this army's come from, though, really. Are you moving around here? I guess. So, uh, Swenta and uh, Galgan have just declared war, huh? Oh, requested he went to war. They go to war with Kong Rong, are they? Nope, she... She sure? She sure? Maybe. Uh, spy returning. Our spies preparing to return from their target faction. Although the scanning mission was a success, they were unable to secure employment. Oh. I may have lacked the desired qualities. All the time, it may have simply been unfortunate. Oh. That's annoying. Uh, okay. Despise. So yeah, he's, he's on his way back. That's annoying. That's a shame. Um, maybe we should have spent some of this stuff, and it would have helped me out. Because I didn't really do anything with him. Sort of forgot about him. Um, yeah, we'll have to send someone else over there. Uh, maybe Sven Tran. I mean, he'll probably want Sven Tran, right? That's a point. How's Sven Tran? Happy? Wow, he's really happy. Married into ruling family. He likes that. Faction fondness. Yep, she likes the faction. Uh, personal traits, ancillaries. He, does, he would like a higher court position, but he's pretty, pretty chuffed. He's pretty chuffed with the position, which I like. Huh. And yeah, very good authority. Which is great. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's have a look at this. So, extra satisfaction, faction wide. He's a prime minister, heir, or faction leader. Um, something tells me if I make him the heir, she's not going to be best pleased about it. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't like that they don't like each other. That's very irritating. Hmm. Right. Um. Anyone else here that's really good? Dong Zhao? Almost Dong Zhuo, but it's not, because he's dead. And yeah, no yellow names, which means none of them have, like, outstanding stats. Uh, but yeah, let's go look at this guy, though. Let's go look at this guy. Hmm. Oh, and she's got cunning really high, too. Lovely. Right. What am I doing? I want to fight this guy. I want to fight this guy. Impossible. Um, so it looks like everything he has is going to be pretty weak to uh, cavalry. Even the peasant spearmen, I don't think it would be particularly good. Um, I mean, the role is anti-cavalry, but even then... Like they've got okay, they've got reflection. They do have they do have the charge reflection. I think because they were peasants, maybe they didn't have the best <coughs> excuse me. Stats against that. So yeah, a lot of peasants. Um do you have turban archers? Yeah, I think this will be fine. I think we'll deal with these guys. I mean these guys will just get killed by archers very quickly. So I think I'll be alright there. And my spearman should be able to hold nicely. So actually let's have a look. I love that it shows you the balance of power like that. It's a really nice touch. So let's move her up. And yeah, I hope these two go and attack. Uh, Kong Rong down here. Who is that? Uh, Rao Chan. Let's... Let's attack. Let's do it. Oh. You're going the long way around, do you? That's annoying. Ooh, also, that's kind of scary. Ooh, no. Yeah, he does not want to get in a fight. He does not want to get in a fight. We'll get him. We'll get him. Uh, so yeah, we'll get her um, garrisoned. We can have Sheng Jiang chase this guy around for a bit. I can always do the old ambush trick, which would be nice. Um, okay, let's build some stuff. So extra population growth, uh, extra percentage from commerce. That one, why can't we get that? We have no tea, of course. No tea. So let's get that. Anywhere else? Nowhere else has any buildings. All right. No worries. No worries. So, uh, yeah, and Dink, massive. I just wish we'd get it from Liu Bu or Han Su here. Um, saying that, I mean, how big is this guy's empire? I mean, I could just take this guy on too, you know. Because I'm not sure he's really got anything else. I think this is his only settlement, in which case we may as well take it, and then we get a bit more of uh, Anding, which would be really good. It would just leave us with the live... Uh, yeah, that livestock farm would be all we'd need, which would be pretty good. Alright, moving on. I really hope he doesn't attack her. This will benefit both of us. Transition your coalition to a military alliance. Okay, Gao Gan's up for it, but Yuan, uh, Yuan Chao and uh, Swenter are not happy about it. So, I'm going to reject, I think. It's going to upset Gao Gan, apparently. Because, obviously, he voted in favour of it. But, do I care? Probably not. So, I'm going to say no. Wisdom met by wisdom. Yep, a lot of wisdom. Oh, there's Liu Bu. Well, one of his armies, at least. Oh, moving in. These guys looking pretty tough. He's running off, which is kind of annoying. It's fine, I'll just head south. I should be able to hold here pretty happily. Liu Bei commanded their vassal to go to war with uh, Tao Tao, huh? Damn. Uh, Gong Sun Zan signed a peace treaty with Yuan Chao. Sun Te requested Kong Rong join their war. Fair enough. And uh, Zhang Fu... Uh, signed a peace treaty with Matang. I can't believe Matang's still going. Where the hell are they? Are they down here, maybe? Could be. Could be down here. I know that Wudu is very heavily contested between Gongdu and... Uh, uh, what's his name? So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's down here. Matang. Uh, so, yeah. Right. So, these guys, not quite ready to attack yet. I worry that they're going to start coming up this way again. But it could be that one of them has decided to ambush while the other one sits there. Which I really like that the AI actually does things like that. It's very cool. Oh, I don't want to go up there and deal with him. Hmm. I would meet with my advisors. I wonder. All right, and Ding can do something. Uh, oh, so I repaired all this stuff, but I can't actually take advantage of this stuff, can I? Scholar's library. I can't upgrade that because, like, yeah, I'm not a scholar. It's gonna give me more prestige, though. Um, food production and income. Food production and income. I actually got some good food. Could go with that one. Hmm. Now nah, I convert to the basic, basic one. I also got communal grain silos here. Hmm. In grain estates. Oh, that's in the farmland. So yeah, that's not surprising. Uh, 
Right, do I want to try and get this guy? That army's bugging me. But I kind of feel like I can just sort of ignore it. And try and get in here. But with these two armies nearby, they can actually get to that silk trader really quickly. If Kong Rong doesn't deal with them, I'm not going to be able to get in here. Um, or if they don't deal with Kong Rong and get further along this track, again, they'll just be able to get back to Wudu and screw me over. So I think I'm going to have to try and fight this guy. So if I go... Let's just go 50% for now. Is that going to be line of sight of him? No, it's not. Hmm. Alright. To 25 then. On the mark! Okay, there he is. Brilliant. Uh, who do I want to get ambushed? Maybe this guy. Welcome, my he can get ambushed. Well, he can get attacked, and the other guys can ambush. Yeah, I think this is the weakest force. It's mostly militia here, so I'll, uh, I'll have him stand out. So, move outside the force, please. And she can go into ambush stance. I'm not sure how good it is to ambush here. Oh, 70%. It's not too bad. They're not that happy about me trespassing, but... Don't really care. So, how's that? If we also, must. press tribute? No, not into that. Not into that at all. Alright then. Okay, let's move on. See if these guys fall for it. I hope they do. I hope they do. Waits. Join war against Xi Xi. Uh, no? Where even are they? Over here. Uh, I mean, they're so far away from me. I feel like I might as well if he's willing to pay me. So sure. Been very Why the heck not? We hope this finds uh, no one, no one wants to do it. Not even Gaugan now. I guess because he likes me less, so he doesn't like people in the alliance as much, because I didn't want to be in a military alliance beforehand. But yeah, good effort, Kongrong. I know you're just trying to solidify your. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, they're pushing on in, and ambush succeeded. I kind of wish it had failed, but uh, look at that. Very nice. Should be able to deal with them pretty happily. So, uh, yeah, shall we? Of course we're going to. Let's do it. Alright. Cool ambush spot, this. Very cool. Right, let's get you. Uh, Alright. Spears on one side. Of them. Oh, that's not a bad spot. It's only swordsmen. So, yeah, I think I can get these archers a lot easier. So let's try that. Uh, you guys, here. Spaghetti lines, need to try and cram in as many as I can. Um, over here too. Uh, so these are, oh no, those are actually Axemen. So you guys, I want to deal with them. Uh, got my own archers too. So I've got a couple of hidden axes. So what I could do with them, just have them here. Put them on fire at will. Also got some sword guard. And some more sword guard. So let's again move them like that. Uh, yeah, let's let's front load this area, I think. Cool. So I will have reinforcements in three minutes. God, it takes so long, doesn't it? It's very annoying. Uh, and you there too. So who are you? You are a oh a hybrid. A scholar. So, that's a hybrid one. As you can see, it's part Sentinel, part... Uh, what's the yellow one? Can't remember. But anyway, we'll see if we can't duel him. So, right. Nope. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. And you go for him. Duel. No one wants to duel. Understandable, really. It's understandable. Okay, charge back into them. You guys, put that melee evasion up. Okay, you guys need to start running. Okay, start moving. They're all breaking, which is nice. Do not waste your breath. You will need it. Good, good. Still chasing him. Okay, you guys, charge into them. So they should get pretty well pincered. They're still shooting, which is nice. They're being kept busy. Uh, let's shoot to those peasant spearmen. Good. They're just being chased, which is nice. Oh, no, 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 thank you. No, thank you. God, these guys are sturdy, huh? These chanters. 
I don't like that at all. Yeah, these guys have been a pain. Uh, have I killed him yet? Looks like he's just trying to run for his life. Oh, please just die. Alright, let's move them back. Uh, yeah, charge them. You guys keep running. They're breaking, which is nice. And they're out of ammo now, which is a bit annoying. Okay, keep going. These guys should break soon. Surely. Okay, you guys get in there. You guys move back. And I think... They're nice and exposed, so you guys go for them. Yeah, you keep charging them. These guys should win, I think. They're just going to keep these archers busy forever. Uh, they're fleeing. See if we can kill him. It looks like they are actually trying to retreat, which is very clever. I've never seen the AI do this kind of thing. Which I think is amazing, honestly. I think that's really clever. Like, really clever. But they'll do that. Okay, he's getting pretty beaten up, which is nice. I suppose you want a duel. Nah, nah, not so much. Alright, just leave him. I'm never gonna never gonna be able to get them. Uh alright, you go for them. Cool. You guys get in here. And yeah, you just kill all those peasant archers. Thank you. And I oh, could try and help kill them actually. That'd be nice. Okay, you double back. You get charged into the back of them. Very low armor, these guys. So hopefully, there should be a nice charge of the rear, seeing as they're not braced. Okay, now you get out. Reinforcements have arrived, finally. Yep, you go for them. Oh yeah, you charge into there, please. Yeah, suddenly Axe Band is struggling a bit. He's still going. You guys can shoot him. Thanks. And yeah, they're all just fleeing. But they should break pretty quickly, I think. Hmm. Kill a few. Okay, now you guys stop. And yeah, you can kill him. And do my expand running away. Huh. How about that? I need to deal with them. Okay, you deal with him. Uh, oh, he's running. Can you get that good hit? Not sure she did. Damn. Alright, you guys try and mop them up. You're back, so you mop them up. And it looks like, yeah, those uh, those archers got wrecked. And everyone else ran away. Oh, hello. I didn't even realise he'd run over there. Whoopsie. Uh, yeah, really cool. The AI actually tried to get out of the fight. And I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, which is amazing. Like, they will try and get out of an ambush if they think it's in their best interest to get away. And I think if they stayed and fought, they would have lost their entire army. Instead, they saved some of their army by leaving, and that's really cool. Like, they will make those decisions, which I think is really interesting. Yeah, love it. Love it. So he goes, lost 500. Which, well, you know, it's not great, and I lost that many, but he lost considerably more. And I just captured something. Nothing of value. Wow, I just captured, like, everybody. And he's got something. He has a stone horse. I could kill him for a stone horse. None of them want to get employed. Um, but if I release them all, I could get some good cash out of it. Or if I execute everybody, I could get... Well, just stop them having these characters available, basically. Because these are all level 4. And I want him to have a load of level 4 characters. So... I guess that's the question. Do I murder them all? Do I make some money? This guy's worth a lot. Why is he worth so much? Hmm. This character's family and friends like you more. Yeah. Alright, he does actually have something I can steal, but Stone Horse isn't that great. So I'll release him for the money. Help me. Um, I might kill this guy just because he's not worth that much, and I feel like I do need to punish these guys somehow. So we'll execute him. And release this guy because he's worth some money too. And we'll go for the, wow, 12% replenishment. That'll keep us going a lot longer. So yeah, nicely done. These guys continuing to move up. Looks like they're actually coming for me now. Come on. Uh, Han Zhang's right there. Go for Han Zhang. Or Chang An. Either one. And yep, I did join that war for some reason. Uh, Gao Gan and Yuran Shao. 
Joined a war? Alright. Character leaves. Oh. Okay. I swear it wasn't telling me that he was sad. Uh, oh, he's livid. Probably do something about Tang Shu, huh? Oof. Alright, well, he's off. Hi, Li Chao. He wasn't in an army, so... Guess it doesn't really matter, huh? Not really. Alright, get back in the army. Whoops. Cool. And that's not going to... Yep, unit transfer. I hate that that does that. Both armies were fine. Okay, you get back over to our own territory. Because I'm going to need to. And Ding, what can you do? Why is that? I have no knowledge of this building. Oh yeah, Scholar's Library, of course. Uh, can upgrade this to a city, which would be quite nice, but uh, a little concerned about all this going on. This is going to be a big fight, big old fight, but I've got soldiers, you know, I've got I've got troops nearby. So if I can deal with them, um, then this faction is pretty doomed. So uh, I can't get, uh, yeah, I can't get tribute from them, which means I may as well wipe them out. Oh, damn. Okay, uh, Zhang Guang here is doing pretty well. So, that's nice. If he takes over Wudu, I mean, it's annoying. I'm going to have to probably declare war on him so I can take over his territory. But at least he's putting more pressure on these guys, who are pretty sturdy right now. Got a lot going on. Would like to take him too, though. Oh, there's a lot I want to do. And yeah, you've really got to split your attention in this game. And if you do, you die, so you've got to keep stopping. Um, so, Tribute Hall might be fun. Haven't got that yet. Or Bandit, so I can get the replenishment rate faction-wide, which is pretty good. Pretty damn good. Ooh, what do I want to do? Time to go to the Tribute Hall. Time to go to the Tribute Hall. I do want some of them. Uh, upgrade my Toolmaker as well soon. Which would be good. Lovely. Right. Uh, what else do I want to do? God, I just don't get much money from any of my settlements yet, do I? Nah, not really. Oh well. Um, ooh, there's so much going on. I'm really concerned about stuff developing over here. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is just a mess right now. I have no idea how to grab all these guys. And yeah, I probably should do something about this. So let's demolish it. I'll demolish it. I don't need that prestige. And I'll build something more interesting. Um, do you want maybe, maybe a military garrison? Because I kind of need this to stay secure. So let's get reform. I'm not sure what we were after, actually, um, on reforms. So I might just get more... Yeah, could just get more... Uh, food from farming uh, or construction cost income from commerce minus building upkeep is actually pretty good because we've got quite a few buildings that are going to require upkeep so I think that will help us out a little bit because uh, yeah building upkeep okay it's only on 183 but so it's not a huge thing but it will add up over time so it's kind of nice to get that out of the way I think uh, right moving on we gladly offer you a chance Join a war for honor. against... I can't. Not yet. No, you're an idiot for joining that war. Sorry, buddy. So be it. Seriously, what was he thinking? Alright. Gongdu is on the move. Okay, good. Looks like he's going for these guys. Oh, I don't know where he's going. Ooh, crap. He's not going for Hadong, is he? He might be. Seems weird to go all the way over there, to be honest. Like, really weird to go all the way over there. You'd think he'd go for things on the borders. Uh, that's interesting. Impossible. It's definitely interesting. Okay, so our uh, yeah our military supplies suck. So we're gonna step her out of here. Uh, you're on normal stance, good. And you're gonna have to enter the city and try and get your military supplies up before I go anywhere, because we are suffering attrition from the lack of military supplies, which is really annoying. And that's from combining those. Uh, those uh, armies, which is sort of weird that it does that. Um, it does make that whole splitting your armies in order to ambush people really quite iffy sometimes. Um, it's good on the defense, not so good if you're trying to keep up an attack. So, not ideal. Let's see. Um, time to go with more tribute halls. Time to go with more tribute halls. We could get a lot of money out of the tribute trees. Because, uh, I mean, each time it's 8%, which is actually pretty good. So, maybe that. Maybe that. But military inf infrastructure does seem useful too. Having more of a garrison is actually super useful. Hmm. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I might go Tribute Hall. I think I'll go Tribute Hall. Oh, I don't have government support here. 
And it looks like we've got all of the other green ones. So, could just do that. Get extra food production and income from peasantry. Now I'm getting income from peasantry and food production and reserve capacity in public order for the communal grain silo, which is like, eh. But I think that might be good. Because, yeah, that's making money from peasantry and this will increase uh, income from peasantry as well as the food. They'll just back each other up, basically. Um, so I might do that. Might do that. Hmm. It's either this one or the Tribute Hall. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with this one. Because I should be getting some good population growth. Um, certainly when they get happier, it will be. Because, yeah, it's going up a fair bit. Yeah, 15 a turn. Which is pretty good. That's pretty good. No, that's public order. My bad. It's going up 14k a turn. Which is rather nice. And, yeah, that will put up the Peasantry Income Bonus uh, as that starts going up. So yeah, we'll need to upgrade the city uh, to a city at some point. Uh, but getting food from it, it means it'll sort of keep itself going. As well as getting all that bonus uh, peasantry income, which will be nice. Right. Um, so yeah, I just need to wait this out so I can get that uh, army back in back in action. Which is very frustrating. Military access and they want a load of money. No. No, I don't want to pay you. Oh, they're starting to dislike me. Hopefully you ran Chow will just keep him busy for long enough. I don't want to have to worry about him. Okay, Gongdu's running this way. Okay, looks like he might be going for Andeng. The farm. Hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Don't like the sound of that. Uh, okay. Uh, Yuan Shu vassalized Tao Tao. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's nuts. Wow. That's crazy. Alright, Swen Te just declared war on Xiang Fu. Uh, Liu Biao formed a coalition with uh, Yuan Shu. And you're actually commander the vessels. How to go to war? Madness, absolute madness. Can't believe that. Tao Tao's a vassal. That's not okay. Uh, so Kugong, humility. What happened here? Extra satisfaction. Due to their very nature, the truly humble are rarely spoken of. The work this court noble produces proves they deserve, uh, derive satisfaction from the diligent completion of their responsibilities, rather than seeking recognition from their peers. Hmm. All right then. No, no. I want to go to the army. Uh, oh, 18 turns until fully replenished? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Yeah, minus four replenishment because of the bad military supplies. Yeah, need to stop this guy, though. Uh, Anding does have a pretty good garrison, though, right? Yeah, it does. It does. It's not half bad. And he is pretty injured. So, if I could somehow get her to there, I'd be fine. But I'm not sure how to quite do that. But yeah, you can see he's only... Yeah, he's about the same strength as this My army, Lord. actually. I hope all is well. So, Where hmm. are my do I start running out? I don't know. Uh, could put this up some more while it's here. I mean, I've got quite a bit of money. I've got quite a bit of money. Uh, I've got the Toolmaker, so I get more from... Oh, actually, extra tribute might be nice. Let's see. So yeah, 1.8k um, from tributaries now. Extra income from commerce and industry. What does this even do later on? Extra money from industry. Yeah, I like that. Uh, what do I need for this? I require a resource. I don't know if I have it or not. But yeah, I could start leveling that up. Uh, extra income from commerce and industry. Hang on, what's the population right now? I'm up to a million. It's not a million yet, so I can keep going. It would be nice just to go straight up more money from there. And bigger garrison, which is also good, actually. So let's go with the Toolmaker. Cool. Oh, and Hadon can upgrade something too. Uh, hmm. There's extra money from commerce. I don't have a lot of commerce going on here. Not much in the way of commerce buildings. It's it's all industry. Which is sort of annoying. Uh, upgrade that for the population growth, maybe. Cool. Alright. Uh, does she have an upgrade? She does. Hello. Ace Morale. Uh, Chance of evading capture and income from industry, but I she's administering. I got that already. What's this one? Poisoned Blade. Enable Scare. That sounds good. Puts her instincts up as well. So she's got two gold things now. Instinct and Resolve. That is brutal. Alright, she's getting real good. Uh, yeah, do I move out on this guy? I need to deal with him. Need to deal with him. What I could do, move her out. 
And, I mean, that's not a bad army to fight this guy with. So let's move her out. And then her. I can go to here. And then ambush with the full force. I want you to stand there. What are you doing? Keep moving. Yeah, exactly. And I can't ambush because I move too much. Well, that's irritating. May wisdom flow. And I don't have that because replenishment rates are down because of her military supplies. They are going up though, so that's fine. Whatever, hopefully it'll start them. If not, I'm closer if he wants to attack him. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, next turn. We could return wisdom what do you want? Any support against your Nah, I'm not going to do that, even if you're going to pay me a ton. I've got money, we I'm fine. It, good, you do that. Alright, he's going to keep moving. Nope, he's moving around. Where are you Together, going? We will be stronger. Gao Gan wants to avoid Tao Tao into the coalition. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Let's see. I'll make Tata like me, but Yuan Xiao won't like me as much, but he already likes me quite a lot. Swen Te will like me less, which is a pity, but I've also got his, uh, yeah, I've got his heir in my faction. It's fine. Logic is the true path to peace. That's what I thought. Uh, Kong Rong is requesting military support against Han Tzu. No. Oh, everyone's doing it, are they? Uh, I'm the decider. If I can accept, everyone will go to war with him. Who even is Han Tzu? Is that this guy? That's uh, Sang Fu. Where's Huan Tzu? That's Huan Tzu. Oh. Um. I mean, it could do. Just go fight him. That'd be nice. But. I think I need to reject. This should meet with your We're at war anyway. Okay, apparently I wasn't the decider. Unless they went to war and everyone who rejected isn't at war. That makes sense. Uh, he wants help against Zhu Lang. Where's Liu Zhang? Liu Zhang? Liu Zhang. I don't even know. I can't click the magnifying glass to zoom to him, which I guess means I've never met him. Or her. Whoever it is. So, I guess, okay? Why not? Wow, Kong Rong loved me. Our proposal. Alright. Cool. Uh, Liu Bu. Requested war against uh, Zhang Fu. Alright. Fair enough. And uh, Tao Tao, no longer a vassal, because he's now in our coalition. Which is interesting. Huh. Got a lot going on, huh? A lot going on. Can't reach him. I can't even reach this guy. This guy's going to be just the most irritating person, isn't he? He's going to be so annoying. Uh, where can he cross? Over there? Right. Let's move her first. 30%, which means she can ambush. So let's ambush. And do I split this army up just to make it super tempting for him? I am tempted to do that. So I think you... No, don't want to recall. Whoopsie. Uh, there. You go stand here. Atta boy. And you go back to the city. Because you might as well. Excellent. Excellent. Hopefully that'll tempt him and I can wipe him out. Hopefully. Oh. Huh. Oh, Liu Bu's really making progress here. Or is he just moving through so he can deal with him? That could be it. He might have just wiped out the army that was trying to attack Wudu. Interesting. Okay, moving on. As one, we will be a uh, chaos. Liu Bei. I don't want to fight Liu Bei. Sorry, Cat. Sorry, Tao Tao. I don't want to do that. Your choice. It is. It is my choice. Ah, brilliant. Nope. What happened? Let us agree terms. Uh, no, you can't. No one likes you. Sorry. Ungrateful and short-sighted. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, he's right next to me. I should be able to attack him now, but I don't know quite what happened here. Uh. Oh, is he in a... Uh. He's in the liberate stance. Which does something, I guess. Yeah, I don't care. That's fine. Never yeah, he's in the liberate stance. Not possible. Um. Justice is claimed by whoever impossible. wins. Okay, I guess. God mercy to achieve ambition. So it's going to march, and can I not? What? 
This force is inside an enemy zone of control and cannot move. Attacking the enemy is the only option. No, Except not- oh, I'm in March, whoops. So, I guess I'll go fight him? And I guess you can join in. Unity. Cool. Yeah, he's running. Make way. Run in, run in, run, run. Ah, we can just catch him. Okay, that's real good news. I cannot. That's good news. So, can you get... Yep, you can get in range. So, you might as well join in. And let's wipe out this army. Good. Alright, brilliant. Totally in my favour. Like, hugely in my favour. And I am going to fight this anyway, because... It's been a while since we've had just a big land battle, you know? And I want to do one. I want to do one. This is for me, guys. This is for me. Okay, here we are. Ooh, that's bright. There we go. God, look at the size of these armies. Love them. Love them. Right. Uh, let's just let's just do the usual. Boop. Perfect. Okay, maybe spread them out a bit more. There we go. I guess you guys can be more spread out too. Cool. And you two. Let's put you on fire at will too. Awesome. So I've got reinforcements on the way. I think they're coming immediately. So that's nice. At last, our reinforcements are arriving. Right? Okay, cavalry. Perfect. Obey me. Obey me. Okay, come on. Come on, all the people. So yeah, not a bad, uh, not a bad force this guy's got, to be honest. It's pretty good. Cool. So let's move the cap back. And everyone else can group up. And yeah, I think we should just go ahead and strike. So. Archers. So, these are... Oh, these are peasant spearmen. Those, are, Yeah, that's fine then. That's great. Yeah, this is good news. So, you guys start moving around the back. You lot. Not sure where I want you, really. I mean, they're all super injured. So, let's just try and kill them, I think. Just try and kill their lords. Might as well. Now you start shooting at them. Start shooting at them. Don't want them horseback hunt, you know, huntsmen doing work. Okay, excellent. You guys start shooting at them. Okay, I don't like these guys' chances much. <laughs> awesome. Alright, you keep moving on there. Uh, yep, you're doing some good work there. Okay, you go for them. And... Let's go with that melee evasion. Come on. Come on, lads. You can get them. Okay, you can start going for them. Cav are doing alright back there. More Cav are on their way, eventually. I will say the maps in this game are very big. It's great. Good. About time. You start pushing up. You start pushing up in the middle. Did well there. You guys, actually just charge into the back, please. Go for him. Other guys fallen. And now you guys can start running into all the archers and being a nuisance. They're running, so you can carry on moving. More cavalry are coming. Do you intend to keep fighting? Uh, yeah. As you intend to keep talking. Okay, let's go for them. You guys, move up. Let's get in the back here. Excellent news. They're being pushed off. You guys can attack there. You guys can attack there. You guys. Oh, everyone's starting to buckle over here. Lovely. All right, you just charge in. And you lot keep chasing him down. Good news. Yeah, you guys should be able to do some good work here. 
Okay, start attacking. And yep, they're all running. Perfect. Uh, you guys, I guess, can stop shooting, because why would you bother at this point? Why would you even bother? Oh, they're still going. Okay, go for him. Okay, cool. Still bothering them somewhat. You're still dealing with them. You guys keep on them. You guys keep on them. Alright, keeping them busy. They've shattered, so I can move on. Okay. Good. I think that'll be it. Don't think it's long. Basically, basically gone. Let's get a rear charge of them just to finish them off. Don't want to keep going. Alright, they've shattered, so that's good. They've shattered. Victory. Lovely. How many kills did you get? Only 50. Huh. Let's get some more. 50, 60, 70, 80. It's all good. Brilliant. So, that army got wrecked. I'm very happy with that. Uh, I think because they did fall for our ambush slightly, they did come back to try and deal with that smaller force. So, that did work, but it meant we could actually get a land battle out of it, which is pretty awesome. So, there he goes. Barely lost anybody. They lost many. And they just got wrecked. Oh, we captured one. Awesome. Get some money out of them. Okay, both have a lot of money. And I have a stone archer. Um, I don't know. What do you reckon, guys? Kill them or let them go. I can get some money out of it. I can get some money out of it. 1,200 ain't bad. I mean, yeah, I've got a fair bit of money, but I would like to keep stockpiling this. Because, um, yeah, you need quite a lot of money to field a new army. And if I suddenly go, you know what? I'm going to field a new army. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. So, I might do that. Yeah, let's release him. And... Recruit. On that replenishment. Good. Good, good. Right, you guys start heading home. What a nuisance. God, I just want to get over here. But hey, we've destroyed some armies. It's all good. And we've been building as we go, so it's all good too. Plus 40% population growth and extra income from industry, which would certainly help. So, yep, let's do that. And... Oh, build a new building here. Go to the Tribute Hall. That could be great. Uh, old Marketplace. Better trade influence and income from commerce that we are starting to build up here, you see. We are starting to build up. So, let's go with that, shall we? Let's go with the Marketplace. So I'm trying to make it a commercial hub as well. As uh, food, I guess. Lovely. Uh, and Ding, you've got something to build too. Go okay, with this one. Extra food production. or I want to go for the income from peasantry more than anything. Because we will start to get some good money from the peasants. When the population starts increasing. Uh, we're at 250. We get to 800. Where is... Yeah, plus 6 population growth. Isn't actually that much. Which is a bit of an, anno an annoyance. Could do with some more population growth. Um... It's not too bad. No, that's public order again. That one. I mean, 15k per turn is actually pretty good. But it's going to take a while for it to go up. Um, you got a level up. Lovely stuff. Um, hmm. Oh, brilliant. Less attrition from military supply. That's only one commanding, though. And fatigue resistance for his own revenue. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, Guerrilla deployment. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, actually. And it puts up um, chance of ambushing for own army. It doesn't say when commanding, which means that that should aid um, Zwen Jiang as well when she's trying to ambush people. So that's pretty great. All right, you guys start heading home then. Huh. I feel like we haven't made much progress today. We just sort of fought a bunch of random rebels knocking about. And, oh, God, Gong Sun Zan's still, still pushing in, isn't he? Grand Chao's really struggling here. Really struggling. Hopefully Kong Rong will help deal with Gong Sun Zan a bit, because he's getting powerful. He is getting powerful. I'm going to need to turn around and deal with him at some point. But I've barely made a dent over here yet. Which is also a bit of a pain. Hmm. Alright, next turn. You want to buy a herdsman? Um, no. 
No, I don't want you to have wedge formation. Get out of here. It is up to you. It is, and I said no. Get out of here. Okay. That guy that we're at war with that I've never met. Cool. Um Tata requested Gal Gang go to war. Alright, cool. Uh Leo Boo declared war on Kong Rong. Jesus. He's declared independence. Oh damn. Okay, that's kind of good news, because Kong Rong needs to stop being so awesome. But also, Liu Bei needs to die too. I want all of his stuff. Um, because just getting this corner would help me a lot. Because it means I'd have this big chunk of map, right? And that would be huge. I mean, that would be great. Kong Rong requested that... Really? Why are you going to war with all these people? Like, you're already getting wrecked by uh, Gong Sun Zan. Got a lot going on. A lot going on. Forming a friendship. Kiyun and Kugong. Cool. That's nice to know. Uh, when the battle is done, it's heartening to know that there are friends awaiting us to laugh and tease and make the battle a distant memory. Such a bond is formed between two of your soldiers, and it is heart uh, heartening to see this companionship enduring and growing over time. Aww. But yeah, I really want to take all this stuff, because it'd just be so easy to defend. If I just had a big chunk here, I don't have to defend, like, this border, right? Which would be really nice. Um... But instead now, I'm like, okay, I could go down here, but these guys might get angry, so I need to come back, and it, oh yeah, fighting on two fronts. It is rough. So yeah, I would like to just destroy Leo Bu up here. Um, if I could. Because yeah, he's way down here otherwise. You know? I mean, what else has he got? He has this. And this seems to be where he's focused most of his troops. Uh, well, that and up here somewhere. But they've just sort of fled, so I don't know. Taking rid of, Getting rid of this guy would also be quite nice. Yeah, lift those peasants. Yep, he does have a full stack. Uh, quite cheap, though. Seems mostly militia. So I might actually be able to take that pretty happily with these two armies. Uh, the Toolmaker itself will have a big garrison, though. Which, I think there is a button for that. Uh, somewhere. Or so I've been told. Uh, nope. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure where that is. I have no idea. How do I look at the garrison? I have no idea. Uh, garrison? How do I look at you? Uh, I don't know, but I'm assuming it's a toolmaker, so it's got quite a good uh, garrison. So we'll have to worry about that. But I'll have two armies. Should be fine. So yeah, it would be good to get rid of him nice and quickly. Because I think if I can just wipe that out, I, I don't have to worry about this faction ever again. Let's have a look, actually. Uh, request tribute. Nope. Fair enough. Let's actually have a look at quick deal. See if anyone wants to give me tribute. Nope, no one's into it. That's a shame. I'm in a coalition with them. So I'd hate to bully them, but... Let's see... How close he is to giving me tribute. Because giving him an ultimatum would be very funny. Nah, it's way off. Never mind. No worries. We'll get tribute from someone else. Because I mean, we're already making 1.9 from tribute trees, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, but I would like to take them out. But also, I need to do something about this. Because, yeah, these guys aren't that tough anymore. I think they might have one... Oh, actually, they might have a couple of settlements here and here, too. Yeah. That I haven't discovered. We'll see. Let's have a look. Uh, extra military supplies. That could be nice. That could be very nice. Um... Hmm. Oh, available administrative positions. Interesting. Extra income from peasantry. Minus one construction time. Okay, that seems just useful in general. Excellent. We'll build up our places quicker. Which I like the sound of. Uh, how about you? What can you do? More commerce. I like more commerce. Or more percentage from commerce. Or a bigger city. Uh, it got to a million, so we're fine for now. So yeah, let's get, let's get the guest house. For now. Um... What else? I think that's all the buildings I can do. Cool. Okay, let's end the turn. And hopefully we can start starving them out of the toolmaker. Maybe maybe get them to surrender. Uh, transition to a military alliance. Yeah, it's not happening though, is it? No one's fussed about it. No one wants that to happen, Kong Rong. I know you're at war with everybody right now, but that's your own fault. 
Uh, Liu Biao wants to do something. He doesn't like me that much. Doesn't like me that much. But he wants an awful lot to say that... Okay, no. Just no, Liu Biao. Get out of here. Where even are you? You're down here somewhere. Join war against Matang. Everyone seems willing to do it, but... No? I don't think so? Uh, Han Su isn't going to like me for this, for some reason, but that's fine. Says war. Am I at war now? I don't think so. I think they are. Right, now what's up? Ending. Okay, peace treaty. More wars. Uh, Matang declared war. Okay, he's declared war. Peace treaty. God, there's just so much going on. Character leaves. Tang Shu. Whoops. I keep doing this, guys. But I'm not using these characters, so it almost doesn't matter. Um, although one thing I should be doing, actually, is doing assignments. So I have one guy that can do that. It's Sven Tran. That kind of sucks, actually. And his satisfaction is going down a bit. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, how much income are you getting from peasants? All industry. Um, like, nothing from peasants. Oh, actually a fair bit from peasantry. So, alright, you can, you can have him as an assignment. He can put up he can put up the money from peasantry. Although I would like him in an army at some point. But for now, nope, he's a tax collector. Cool. Right, you there. Let's build this up. Let's build this up. I mean, don't really need to. But I can. So I might as well. So that's good. Uh, oh, and I will need to upgrade this soon. Damn. Alright, I'll need to upgrade that to a bigger city soon. Which is kind of nice. Uh, and you. Jeez. Alright, maybe I should do that now. So that'll be an extra four food for that upgrade. Fine. I can do that. Marching. Yep, you get in there. Merge. And you just step in here, please. Okay, how long? Only four turns for replenishment. I don't need to be fully replenished on them. Gather everyone. But yeah, I think I need to go to war with this guy in a second. Just just so I can take this. Uh, I don't know if he has more going on over here or not. Could be a bit annoying if he does, but like I've just got to start gaining territory and solidifying it. It's been another hour. We've just fought like a ton of armies of this guy, but it's not really amounted to anything. So we'll see. We'll see what we can accomplish. But yeah, I think just because he's there and he's just sat there, I can starve him out at the very if least. We could, we would fight uh, oh, Gongdu wants peace. And he will give me money. Huh. I have to do that for now, just so I wipe him out, and maybe I can focus my attention on going north. Because if I can just take out uh, Liu uh, Bu up here, that would be amazing. That would actually be really good. Because the only reason why he was um, essentially out of bounds is because he was a vassal of someone I was allied with. So, I think there's a chance I could destroy Liu Bu, take some of his territories out, which would be great. So, peace with Gongdu. Um, I mean, it's a shame I haven't managed to take any of his territory, but I can always declare war with him again later, but it means if he's not focusing on me, he's focusing on Kong Rong, which means one of my allies isn't going to start getting out of control. So, I think I'm going to have to do that, just because he's the underdog, but he has the potential to be a problem for someone who's more powerful than I am. So, yeah, you've always got to think these things. You've always got to weigh these things up. It's not like Warhammer, where you can just steamroll and kill everybody, so it doesn't really matter who you're at peace at and who you're at war with. Um, no, gotta be a lot more careful. So, Cao Cao requested Yuan Shao join their war. Fair enough. He loves joining wars. Uh, Liu Bei declared war on Yuan Shao. God, there's a lot going on. And, oh, Gongdu also signed peace with Matang. And me. And Huang Shao declared war on Tsai Mao. It's Tsai Mao, I wonder. Liu Biao declared war on Huang Shao. Alright then. Hmm. Okay. So, these, these sons of bitches are going down. Why? Why not? Why Why the heck not? Oh no, I'm going to declare war on you. Uh, so, obviously he's going to dislike me, but Carl Rong will like me more, so... Screw it? So. Wow. It's close. It's going to be close. This is most, this will save a militia. So I wouldn't have thought it would be that close. What I'm going to try and do is starve them out, because even if they just, like, wait a turn, they're going to suffer a ton of attrition. So, hopefully, 
This would be good. Wow, big chance of them being captured too. So yeah, we're going to try and starve them out. And hopefully that'll do. If they try and attack me, you know, on the open field, I think I can take them. them. So we'll see about that. But yeah, hopefully I'm about to get that toolmaker. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Uh, anything else I can do? I don't think so. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, my income is pretty damn high right now. I'm getting a lot of money from tributaries, because the people that are giving me tribute seem to have got a lot more powerful in the last few turns, which is why tributaries are amazing. Because as long as they keep going, as long as you can get in there while they're weak, you know, they can uh, they can start building themselves up again, and you're just going to get more and more money from them. At some point, they will probably be like, no, I don't want to pay you anymore, and then you'll be in a huge deficit. But uh, still, that's pretty great that I'm earning that much money from them. Um, it makes me want to build more of these guys, more of these tributary shrines. Uh, just keep building them up, because you can get to plus 30% per building, which is nuts. Absolutely crazy. So, yeah, it could be huge. It could be huge income from tributaries. So the more of them we can get, the better, really. In fact, let's have a quick look and see if anyone's down for that. Quick deal. Demand tribute. Anybody? Nah. Sad times. Where's Zhang Fu? There he is. He's pretty weak. He's pretty weak. Let's have a look at Zhang Fu again. Uh, Zhang Fu. Zhang Fu. He really dislikes me. Quest tribute. Oh, it's minus 30 just because how much he hates me. Um, how about Liu Zhang? He's way down there. Let us get this Tribute. Nope. Nope. Distance is a big factor as well. If they're really far away, they don't like giving you tribute. How about Kong Rong? Excellent. Talk. Wow. Actually quite close. That's nuts. How about Lubu? Not you again. No. Him? No. He's more powerful than me. Cao Cao though. Let's check him again. Again, no. I really want more tributes, guys. I really want more tributes. How about you? No. Fine. How about you? Welcome. Oh, well, I can't, I don't think. No, because uh, Liu Bei's a... in charge of him. Oh, well. Oh, well. No more tributes, but still, we're about to get some soon. Um, hopefully. Hopefully we can get uh, Liu Bu to give me tribute when he's just down to Bagsy. Uh, well, Bashi? Bashi. Anyway, uh, when's just Bashi left? I think it'll be fine, because... Yeah, he'll probably grow from there, because he's a hell of a combatant, so he should be able to actually hold his own for a while. So hopefully he can just grow a bit um, in his new area, wherever that may be, while I cash in on the fact I own all this stuff and I've bullied him into submission. That could work out very well for me. Right, so I think that'll be it for this episode, actually. I think that'll be it for the episode. So we can take out the Toolmaker next turn. We fought a couple of people off, but mostly we've just been building up our settlements. But uh, judging from our income, that's going quite well. I think we should be able to start expanding um, our military quite substantially soon. And hopefully that means we can go on the offensive a bit more if we have spare armies to field. So that might be the thing we need to do now. It's just, you know, start focusing on expansion in a big way. I think that'll really help. So we're going to try that, I think, um, soon. I think we'll start, get this to a full stack, and maybe get uh, Sven Tran back into the field once he's done administering that place. Might recruit some new generals too. Also, actually, before I forget, I do need to send a spy, don't I? I do need to send a spy off. So, hang on, this guy used to work for us, didn't he? I think he did, and then he left. Would it tell me about him? No, it won't. Alright, never mind. Uh, Dong Huang, why not? Let's send this guy. Sounds like a laugh. We'll send him over to Gong Sun Zan again. Because we need to do something about this. His territory is getting too big. And, yeah, Yuan Chao is just getting completely beaten up by him. Oh, Cao Cao's doing pretty well down here, isn't he? Huh. A lot further south than I thought he'd be. Strange. But yeah, Swenta is just doing crazy good. Real good. Oh well, let's send a spy. And hopefully, he'll get hired. Right, so guys, that'll be it for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And be sure to tune in for the next one. Have a good day, guys. Bye.